Kylan was giving me really nice information that wasn't, well, except for the creepy guy at the store. So she was giving me really good information about who killed her. No, I think she just didn't want to hurt that lady's feelings and make her have to listen to it. She loves her and cares about her. So Kylan's not somebody who's going to want to be hurting people. I mean, none of them do, but Kylan seems especially sensitive to the feelings of others. Like, mystical sensitive. She really could feel their spirit world. I mean, not the spirit world, but maybe, but she really could feel the, um, the oneness. To me, she reminds me of, like, a goddess or something. Like a real one, not a fake one. Okay. Crystal and Galen. Forgive me if I call the wrong name. Okay, I haven't connected. We're connected. <laughs> I just feel like they love looking at the moon and the stars, obviously. They love laying there at night and looking at the You can't see that in a city. Kaylin. Is that her name? That doesn't seem quite right. I know, Kaylin and Crystal. Okay, I'm inviting you guys, Kaylin and Crystal, to just show more stuff. Show everything exactly what happened. I know it's August, so why do I keep getting the feeling of her putting on a jacket? Okay, well, so this, she's showing me a different time. She's showing me herself um, leaving work what, before when it's more a little blustery. It's not super cold. It's a little blustery because she's, she's wearing a jacket. It's not a super heavy, heavy jacket. It's a jacket, you know, like it could be a wool jacket even. Or, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, a, I'd say it's a good jacket. And then, and then, um, that looks kind of an oversized jacket. And then she puts on a scarf. So it's around that time of year when you might even, if you had a hat and gloves, you might put them on if you had them. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't feel, I mean, okay, so the season's changing a little bit from fall to winter at the time she's showing me. And then I'm, I feel like saying, Tall Paul. I feel like saying Tall Paul. And I feel like there's a guy that's a lot taller than me. He doesn't totally look like the guy at the store, though. So this looks like a different, a whole other guy. Um, this guy is wearing a flannel shirt. This guy, ew, he's gross. He might be the one who did it. He has hair that's like, it almost, if, if you put grease in it and made it finger wavy, it's like short hair. Um, he has like, oh, very pale skin, kind of a long face. He's tall. He's super, super tall. Um, and I feel like fall, Paul, Paul, fall. Um, yeah, so. This guy has an axe. And he's like looking at them weird while he's chopping wood. Oh, yeah, he's, ew. It, it, it's does feel like, um, so he's wearing a black and white kind of plaidish looking, and I know it's August, so why would you wear, I don't know, but it's black and white, like a Pendleton type shirt. The flannel. Yeah, I see him. He's tall. He's, um, he doesn't look like Brian Laundry. Um, okay, so he, this guy, 
There must be an actor that looks like him because I feel like I could go online and I don't know how I'd find the guy. He's very tall. He's, he's, uh, I wouldn't say thin build, but because he's so tall, you know, he's kind of thin because he's so tall or something. And, um, very pale skin. Very angry and disgusted, maybe. He can hardly stop himself from doing what he's going to do. Like, he isn't trying to work up the courage. It's the opposite. He's not really um, fighting it, but... Like, he's not trying to stop it. He's not trying to stop this, the urge or whatever, because it's, it's more than an urge. It's more like an action, like, you know, kind of, he's pacing back and forth. And, um, he's pacing back and forth and, He's not really thinking with his normal, rational mind. It's more like act, acting, not acting as in fake, but action. Like this is just who he is right now. He's, he's going back and forth and he's in this thing before he attacks them. I'm, I, I haven't seen him attack them yet, but it's just like he's, he's hatred. It's just hatred. I don't know if it's because they're lesbians or if it's just because they happen to be there. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know that. Um, he has a very distinctive look. Long, kind of a long square face. Not long square face, long, long rectangular face ruddy skin it could be slightly pockmarked or not at all it could be slightly pockmarked a little hangy um he has brown hair so i wouldn't it's not as dark as brunette it's more like a middle mucky brown his hair is real it's not super short but it's shorter than those other people. He could even be the same guy. Um, guy from the store. I don't know though. If he had lost weight and cut his hair, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I just wondered that or if it went into my mind. If it's two separate guys. So he has an axe. It feels to me like it feels more like they're purposely going down to create to kind of it feels good. But he's he he that's his opportunity right there. So he grabs his gun and he, he, he wa waits. The, so he sneaks up on them. Like he's watching them from a b bushes or something. Like he's spying on them, but he knew that they're there, but he, and like voyeurism, like, He wants to sneak up on them, but that's, but he's also wanting to watch them, you know. He had the forbidden hatred, so it's, it's like some kind of nut who's got some delusional thinking going on. I think his mouth is on the smaller sides, and then his nose is a little larger.
his chin's kind of, um, it's not quite a moon chin. It's not a Jay Leno chin, but he's definitely got a chin for how long his face is. He's not attractive. His face is way too long. Or I think it's about two inches too long or something. And he's tall. He's not heavy. He's, he could be thin build or now I'm seeing a whole alternate thing. So that means I, I didn't get it right. Yeah, it's grass. So does he go up to their van and just say, okay, okay, over here, girls down the bridge. Yeah, maybe I don't want to see it either. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti. I know it kind of makes me sick to think about it, and then I'm afraid. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask on the pendulum. So let me see. Anything. Is the one who killed? Is the one who killed these women? Is he the one from the store? Yes. It went to yes. Okay. So, is the guy I saw at the store the same guy as I saw the second time? Um, it's kind of oval. Kylie? Kylan? Kai. Um, is the man who murdered you guys someone you saw at your grocery store? It is doing a yes on its own. Is this the man who murdered you? Yeah, it went to yes. Did the man who, um, was that just one gross guy? Did the man who murder you, um, is his name Paul? No. But is he tall? Yeah, I think he's tall. Um, it is the man who murdered you, did he ever, did he see you at the store? Yes. He saw her at the store. Yep. That's what it says. He saw her at the store. And, uh, is he the guy with that little old car? That's oval, so that might not be right. But this sounds like someone from the store. Did Brian Laundry murder you? No. Um, it's going no, it's saying no. Um, do you know where Brian Laundry is? Oh, she's saying yes. <laughs> See? She's saying yes. That's funny. What should we do? Should we let, do you want to tell us? I would have to meditate again to, to get that answer. That's, it's, um, it's a yes, it's an oval kind of, it's like not yes or no. Is he staying indoors some of the time? Yeah, speed it up, that's a yes. Does his mother know where he is? That's an oval, it's, it's like not a yes or a no. She might have an idea. Does she have an idea? Yes. Does she know exactly? No, not exactly. Yes, idea. Um, is Brian Laundry going to get caught alive? <laughs> and that one can go either way. Is Brian Laundry alive in his physical body right now? He is. Um, is he having a psychotic state? No. D is he an arrogant fool? Yeah. Will, it, will his arrogance do him in? It's a yes. His arrogance will do him in. Brian Laundry. His arrogance will do him in. All right, then. So they're going to catch him? Yep, they are. It speeded up to the yes. 
I think I'm going to catch him tomorrow, tomorrow, there's always tomorrow. Oh, Brian. <laughs> See, really, I feel like going to sleep. I want to help Kylan, too, but that's really horrible. That's really horrible how they died. Because she showed me what they look like. And that, Kylan, it was someone that either came into your work, right? It was someone who came into her work. Was it Brian Laundry? It says no. I, you know, I know I just asked a couple of minutes ago, but definitely on the a pendulum, you'd want to ask more than once on an important question like that. So, did, did, uh, Kaylin ever meet a Gabby Petito? This is saying yes. Yeah. Did Gabby Petito ask them where to go camping at? Uh, yes. Did they go up there and go camping by each other? It's, it's going all haywire. Did they did they go up there and go camping but not see each other? Did Brian go kill those girls? Oh, now it's saying... See, that's the thing with the pendulum. It said no before, and now it's saying yes. So Brian Laundry killed the girls. Um, and it's picking up. See, that's the thing. I don't know what to do. I've seen a giant rat on a tool bench. In comparison. It must be like a real size rat on a child's tool bench. That's how it's dropped. Hi, Rocky. That snorting sound just means this little ball of love is close by. <laughs> Okay, let's see. And uh, uh, Kylan is just one more person, just like Gabby, that did not deserve to die like this. She's her personality is just. It's do no harm, you know? I could see her being, um, she's just got the light shining through her. And, uh, so non judgmental, so accepting. Clean up on aisle three, we're at the store. Clean up on aisle three. See, there's this man. See, I see him. I see that. So I see two different men. I see this creep at the store. I should, should have, there's a couple creepy men that just like, they men are like it, these ones. It's like there's two. I think one works there and one is just, just buying groceries. They're mad because she's a lesbian, which means they would never have a chance with her, even though they would never have a chance with her anyway. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Whether she's, if even if she was heterosexual, she wouldn't go out then. So. The one that works. I don't know if there's a deli there or not. It seems like a little bit of a butcherish, but it's like, how could there be a, a veggie store? I don't know. Maybe he works, maybe he cooks there. Maybe they have like a soup section. I don't know. I'm not sure. But 
He has something to do with preparing food. He wears an apron. And he resents her, too, for for being unattainable, even though she'd be unattainable anyway. The guy who works there. And this other guy would just like to rape her. And it more like he feels justified. He feels justified because, like... In, I, I don't, I'm not saying he did rape her. Um, he feels justified in his thought process because he feels like she needs to know what it's like to be with a man or, but in a mean way, more that's more like, like he has a right to, to violate her. And then I run ahead of myself, and I'm like, well, what? Could there be two men? Um, Because these men look different. They're two different men. But they're almost interchangeable. And this does seem so it didn't happen this way. So maybe, maybe I'm not this late at night going to go so deep into it, how it exactly happened, but it feels related to someone from her store. Whether he worked there or whether it was a customer, I'm not 100% sure because I see both. And I don't see the actual... I mean, you know... I don't know if I even want to see it, but I would just say this enough. That's enough clues for me. I don't want to, like, get some murderer mad at me. <laughs> okay. So, um, I see the other guy again. I see the guy with the longer face. I wonder, like, it's to me, I'm like, but did they do this together? That guy, the the sh the customer guy, with a little longer. And when I'm saying long, I'm not meaning down his back long. I'm just meaning three or four inches long. You know, kind of like remember all in the family, the guy who played the meathead or whatever. Except for I, the guy I see has his hair is a little darker and a little wavier. But he, he kind of, he stands like that, but I think he might even have pock marks and be heavier, like even heavier than me head or whatever. It feels like it might be a planned attack. It feels like the guy may have figured out where they go park their van or something. That guy, I don't know if stocking's a correct word, but he might have figured out where they put their van. So that's what I'm getting so far. Like, he maybe he kind of watched little by little to see where they go or something like that. Because, like, if he knew that he could go there or whatever. Um, but it all comes out of her job and this. There's two that feel the same way. I'm not a hundred percent which one did it or if they're in on it. Like at some point they realized they felt the same way about her and oh I'll let you in on a little secret uh, or where you know they would know where she goes or Something like that. It could have had to do with both of them. Or it could be just one. I don't know. I, I haven't really totally allowed myself to see it. It's hard to sometimes. It's, it's not always easy just to, like, look at a murder and stuff, you know. But 
That's what I'm getting so far. I might look for an actor that looks for like that guy. How the hell are we gonna get out of that? Is the weirdo Brian Laundry? I don't know. So far, I'm not seeing Brian Laundry. I'm seeing these two other guys. But two. Okay, but two.